This is a short video tutorial that will show you how to transfer a vocabulary file using the AirDrop feature. In order to transfer vocabulary files, both devices need to be one of the following devices with iOS 7 loaded on it. An iPhone 5 or later, an iPad 4th generation, an iPad mini, an iPod Touch 5th generation, or an iPad Air. If you have an older device, AirDrop will not work on it. Also, you do need to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on and connected on both devices, and they both need to remain awake. The distance that the file will transfer using AirDrop depends on the environment that you're in, but is usually about 25 to 30 feet. To turn AirDrop on, exit out of TouchChat. Swipe up from the bottom of your screen to bring up the Control Center. Tap AirDrop. And you may not be able to see these selections on screen, but the choices here are off, contacts only, or everyone. If you choose off, that's going to turn AirDrop completely off, and you will not be able to use this feature. If you choose contacts only, this is going to make your device only visible to your contacts. Please note that you do have to have each other's Apple ID email address which is the email that you use for your Apple ID in your contacts and it has to be under the category iCloud. Let me just show you. So if we go to contacts, I choose a contact here and you have some email fields here and you can choose whether it's home, work, iCloud or other. You have to have iCloud checked here and then you have to enter the Apple ID email address that the person used for their Apple ID under that field. Now both of these users have to have that in their respective contacts in order for this contacts only to work. So contacts only can be very tricky. Sometimes it might be easier just to choose everyone. If you choose everyone, this is going to make your device visible to everyone within that radius of 25 to 30 feet that has AirDrop turned on. I'm just going to choose everyone. And then I'm going to close my control center by swiping back down. Then what we're going to do is open TouchChat on one of the devices. We're going to go to Vocab, choose New Vocab until you're at your vocabulary list. Then you're going to go up to the right hand side and choose Menu import export a vocab and export with airdrop you're then going to choose the vocabulary file that you wish to export in this case I'm going to export a word power 20 Kara's copy because I want to share that with my other device so I will tap on that tap on done then what I'm going to do is bring up my other device on the screen here so you can see that one as well. So you'll notice that the airdrop came up here at the bottom and it's trying to pick up all of the users that are within 25 to 30 feet of me. It says Kara's iPhone here. So I'm going to tap on Kara's iPhone in order to send that one. Then you'll notice on my iPhone, airdrop pops up on the screen and it says Kara would like to share WordPower 20 Keras copy. Do you decline or do you accept? I'm going to accept. That's going to open TouchChat for me. After the file is done transferring, I just have to tap yes to import the vocabulary file. Then I can rename the file or I can leave it the same thing. Tap on save. And then once the file is done importing, you'll notice that it's now in my list. I can go ahead and tap on it and open it and it's the same file that I used on my iPad as well. If you have any further questions on AirDrop, feel free to email support at touchchatapp.com or you can sign up for one of our webinars at touchchatapp.com slash support slash webinars. Please join us on social media. We do have a TouchChat Facebook page, a Saltillo Twitter account, and a TouchChat YouTube channel.